hey guys augs here from the us thank you for watching and please subscribe today we're going to talk about arsenal first signing which is the saint etienne defender william saliba 18 years old very tall powerful young man and a good defender uh, he was signed for five years around 25 million pounds and uh, it's not official really yet but i read a lot of uh, newspaper from france as you can tell i'm french you know so that's my first language and i mostly read french newspaper and uh, l'équipe and le parisien are some of the most trusted uh, newspaper in the world so they are confirming the deal but you never know what's gonna happen so i'm just reporting what they say because i trust them so good news finally the first signing of the season but i'm not really feeling good about the signing really uh, i'm not an arsenal fan as you can tell but arsenal used to be everybody's second team you know the way they play the french connection and all that i have pretty much all the french player in the arsenal team jersey at home from my childhood so um you know it, it's cool it's, it's just a team that you don't want to see them fail you want to compete with them and beat them but it's not like very very tough rivalry or enemy or something like that anyways what's going on with arsenal football club signing this 18 years old kid it's good it's gonna take time to develop to adapt to the premier league is that really what arsenal need right now i don't know guys let me know but i think arsenal need a powerful confirm defender you know center back there to command the defense you know and right now they don't have that and they have money man spend some money and get some good defender i love young people i'm a chelsea fan i've been advocate for you for years and i like to see young people from the academy or not in general i want to see young people given a chance to show what they are capable of but in this case arsenal need experience need good defender already confirm in the premier league and go from there and mix with young people from the academy or whatever where the money goes i don't know because they're talking about yanni carrasco and Z Zayich or Zich from Ajax and all those deals that never happen. It's almost Arsenal become like a almost team. We almost signed Kante. We almost signed this and that. We almost signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We almost signed Ronaldo. Almost, almost, almost. Until when? You know, spend some money. I don't know what's going on here. Forty million for a huge, massive club like, like, uh, like Arsenal is nothing really. Look at Real Madrid, how much they are spending. Look at how that big club, how much they are spending. So they need, they need to, they need to figure out what to do with this club. Otherwise, I'm afraid because look at the first signing from, um, from West Ham, a big signing. I know Tottenham will sign some player. Chelsea can't sign anybody right now because they are on 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 ban. And look at big club; they sign big players. But I don't know. I'm afraid that Chelsea and Arsenal this year will go down, and teams like um, West Ham or Everton and uh, even Wolves, they will be. Uh, fighting for top four arsenal and chelsea might be fighting for top 10 somewhere ninth or 10th because chelsea is understandable they are on ban the best player is gone and Mauricio sari just quit uh frank lampard coming and will use only youth with no experience 
so it's gonna be tough but it's understandable because they will give a lot of uh, youth a chance to prove themselves so that is understandable but for uh arsenal i don't know it's not normal they're supposed to be just on top there and fighting in the in the in the market with the the very top and getting the players that they want so i'm afraid really like this coming season is going to be tough for arsenal and for chelsea but especially arsenal because nobody will really understand what's going on you have the money you have a new coach give him money and let him spend it by some good players so guys let me know what you think about it arsenal fan or not anybody that will watch this video please subscribe you know i don't mind i don't buy i don't mind saying the right thing for any team you know i'm i'm, I'm very fair you know i'm a very fair fan i'm not somebody who will just stuck with my chelsea team or whatever i just want to be fair and just just talk about stuff that are fair so i subscribe to arsenal fan tv and other arsenal uh, channels anybody that i uh, find a good topic about arsenal liverpool or united or whatever i just want to learn and and listen to a different perspective from the fan uh from that club so please if you subscribe to this channel is a family channel uh we're gonna grow together and we are going to to be fine thank you so much